this computer behind me, we have the SK Hynix Gold P31 NVMe SSD. This is the one terabyte model, but it's also available in 500 gigs. It's the same size, looks like a stick of gum, it's just different capacity, and they're super fast. Both are the same size, they look the same, just different capacity. They're like the size of a stick of gum, and they go straight onto your motherboard, no cables needed. But before we get into all those details, let's just do a quick comparison. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Let's just compare the speeds to a hard disk drive and a 2.5 inch SSD. Okay, so right now I have three different types of hard drives installed on that computer. I have the NVMe SSD, the Gold P31 from SK Hynix. I have a PNY SSD, it's a 2.5 inch drive. And I also have a hard disk drive, a 3.5 inch Western Digital Blue. It's one of those bulky ones. So we're testing out three different types of hard drives on how fast they boot into Windows. They all have Windows. They have a similar setup. They have a few games installed, but I'd say the PNY SSD and the SK Hynix NVMe SSD have more stuff. So the hard disk drive has the least amount of things. So technically it should be faster, right? Well, that's what we're gonna test. So I have a timer here. Let's get right to it. Now, after powering it on, I'm gonna go into the BIOS because once again, all three hard drives are installed and all three of them have Windows. So if I just leave it and boot it on, it's gonna go directly to the SK Hynix. But I wanna select which drive loads in. All right, so the three of them are here. We have the SK Hynix. Uh, the third one here is the PNY SSD. And then this is the Western Digital Blue hard disk drive. We're gonna start with that one. So when I start the boot, I'm gonna start the timer as well. Press it at the same time. Ready, set, go. Once again, this hard drive should have the least amount of things on it. And I think it's the only one that requires a password, but it's a very simple password. But even with the password, well, let's see. Okay, all right, even with the password, it shouldn't really affect the time too much. It's just four zeros, so it's a really simple password. Okay, now we're in, it was about 37 seconds. And once again, the Western Digital Blue hard drive has the least amount of things, as you could probably tell right here. Let's move on to the PNY SSD. And just to note, I mean, I already paused the timer and everything. It's been maybe another 30 seconds since I booted up, but even, you know, starting up programs, I'm starting up the File Explorer here. It's taking a long time. It's just slow in general. It may have loaded in, but it still needs to warm up and get its juices flowing. So yeah, you're really at a disadvantage with a hard disk drive. Okay, right now the only drive installed is the PNY SSD. And there's a hard drive in there, but that's out of the equation. That one doesn't have Windows. It's just for storage. So we're gonna boot up with the 2.5 inch SSD. Here we go. Okay, ready, set, go. Now this one doesn't have a password. It should automatically log in. Okay, PC1000, that's the username I have it as. All right, there we go. It's about 20 seconds, I believe. 2021 around there and that's already about twice as fast as the hard drive but the biggest difference is that when you start up the file explorer it opens up right away so the ssd the 2.5 inch ssd is so far almost twice as fast as the 3.5 inch hard drive disc now let's move on to the sk hynix nvme ssd okay now we're finally down to the sk hynix nvme ssd the p31 gold let's start ready set go now this should be the quickest one once again auto login there we go it's about 12 seconds and once again if you start up any program it'll start up right away so with the nvme ssd i mean say you need to do something send an email you could do that within 20 seconds 10 seconds to start up 10 seconds to send the email you're good to go. So the P31's technology is the most advanced of the bunch. However, many computers still have that hard disk drive like this one as their main drive. If this is the case with your computer, you should seriously consider upgrading. The next step would be the 2.5 inch SSD. They're also pretty darn fast as you saw in the comparison. They're about twice as fast as hard disk drives, but they still require the SATA power connector and the SATA data cable. Now, unlike those, the Gold P31 is barely even noticeable. It doesn't require cables and it's the easiest and quickest one to install. And above all that, it's much faster, twice as fast as the SSD 
and three times as fast as the hard disk drive. And that's only on the initial boot, that single test. Over time, especially the HDDs, you know, the bulky ones, those get even slower. Yeah, it took 40 seconds to boot up, but it took a lot more to start up any programs it needed to warm up. If you want to start your computer and then start playing GTA right away, you can have to wait like 10 minutes for it to run smoothly. At the moment, the Gold P31 is installed inside of my Gamdius Mars M2 case, Micro ATX, and it fits just fine. There's plenty of room in between the graphics card and my CPU cooler. In terms of speed, it's the fastest without a doubt. As mentioned earlier, it's obvious that it doesn't have any moving parts like the bulky hard disk drive, and its size, chips, and type of connection make it faster than the SSD. Now, with everyday use, the speed of this is going to be noticeable with booting into Windows, loading programs, applications, photos, photos, videos, transferring data from your phone or a, a flash drive, that's going to move a lot quicker. And once again, you could start your computer in like 10 seconds and get to work. And with the P31 loading games like GTA that have open worlds, they'll load up a lot faster than with other drives, like way faster. And when you're in the game driving around at full speed, you won't get any lag spikes because part of the world is loading. It may not happen with GTA, but it happens with other games that have big worlds. They will load a lot quicker. For content creators, once again, transferring photos and videos from your cameras to the computer will be a lot faster, but it'll also move a lot faster when moving videos into your image and video editing programs. In that case, the difference will surely be massive. Good stuff. This is an excellent piece of hardware. It's made for really any computer. You don't need to have something super high-end to have something like this. You could have a budget PC with an i3 processor. Slap this on there, and you'll make people think that it has an i7. Because it's just going to be snappy. Everything's going to load quickly. You're going to get everything moving along quickly. And of course, this is definitely the way to go if you're building a computer smaller than this one. A side perk that comes with this is that you'll have more room on the back for cable management, and you don't need the SATA data cables at all. If you're looking for numbers, the P31 read speed is 3500 megabytes per second and the write speeds are 3200 megabytes per second. It'll transfer a large 4k video to a USB 3 drive in just a few moments. This is why games and applications load so fast. Of course, for technology like this, the price isn't going to be too pretty. I'd say that's the main downside, but as this technology progresses, it'll become cheaper and more available. But even now, for what this thing can do, currently at $135 for the 1TB hard drive, I'd say that's a pretty reasonable price. All the benefits you get from it, you'll be saving a lot of time, your computer will look a lot cleaner, and you'll just have a much better overall experience for gaming, content creation, media consumption, just computer use. And if that's too much money, completely understandable, it is pretty expensive. The 500 gig model is probably going to be the more popular one anyway. It's at a cool $75. On Amazon, I'll leave a link down below. That gives you plenty of storage for the Windows operating system and your frequently used applications and games. And then you can get some other cheaper drive for mass storage. In whatever way you use it, the P31 will not disappoint. Once you've experienced these speeds, it's going to be nearly impossible to go back. I'll be installing it for sure inside my main computer back here, as it'll definitely speed up file transfer speeds for video editing. So that's going to be it on the gold P31 SSD. Once again, links will be down below for both the 500 gig and the one terabyte model. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you already have an NVMe SSD or are you using still a 3.5 inch mechanical hard drive? Or what do you plan on doing with your computer? I'll try to respond to as many comments as possible. I know I've kind of been slacking on that. But yeah, please make sure to leave a like as well and maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.